there's what like 69 million different mods for this bike what mods you get first really depends on your riding style but there's a few mods that every single suron needs and today i'm going to tell you guys just what those mods are so let's just go ahead and hop right into it here the first mod is kind of a two for one special and that has got to be bars in a direct stem mount riser now the reason i think these are the two most important mods that you can get for your bike is because i waited way too long to get both of these mods and really until i got them i did not sit on the bike comfortably i did not get better at wheelies i did not get her get better at riding in general because i just felt off riding the bike so the next mod has got to be tires now unless you're going to be doing a hundred percent off-road riding on this bike you got to get new tires because the stock tires will wear down literally within a month if you ride them on the street on a daily basis now right now i'm rocking the shinko sr 241s these are pretty good tires for almost all kinds of riding and if you're going to be doing a pretty heavy mix between off-roading and roading i would definitely recommend these tires and for the amount of time that i've had them i haven't even noticed the tread start to wear down at all yet stocks are awesome but really only for 100% off-road because of how sticky they are and how fast they deteriorate. If you guys are running some aftermarket tires, let me know down in the comments below what you got. So the third mod, a lot of people say you need it. A lot of people say you don't need it. I'm one of those people that say you need it. And that has got to be a controller. The reason that I say you have to get a controller, especially if you don't plan on getting a battery or anything else, is just because of the customizability that the controller lets you do to the bike. And you know, after having it for a month or two, you'll probably at least want to get some more customization out of the bike and change engine braking or just, you know, change small things here and there that you can only do if you have a controller. Well, I guess engine braking is a bad example because you can change how that is with pulls of the brake levers and whatnot but basically all i'm trying to say is if you've had the bike for an extended period of time you're either a gonna want some more power out of it or b you're gonna want to customize some stuff that you're just not able to customize with the stock controller now what controller do you pick in my opinion there's only really two options first being the emoto bros bac 4000 or the next in the better in my opinion being the ko controller at the end of the day it's really up to you but either of those controllers are great and any controller is better than the stock All right, now the fourth and final mod is also kind of a two for one special and that has got to be pegs and a peg spacer. Now, like I've said in previous videos, so I'm not going to touch on it too hard on here. I waited way too long to get pegs and a peg spacer, but especially if you have a controller or an upgraded battery or just really, if you have a stir on in general, you need aftermarket foot pegs on this thing because your feet just do not sit on the stock pegs worth of crap at all, dude. Like I can literally let my foot hang off the peg right here and like it's not going anywhere the teeth that are on these pegs are amazing and are what the suron should have came with from the factory in my opinion because they really the stock pegs like legit don't do anything for holding your feet on the bike at all and then the second part of this is the peg spacer i'm sure you guys have heard a million people talk about this mod it pretty much prevents your peg support bracket from snapping in half if you hit big jumps and once you have everything else done to the bike that i've talked about and you've added a little bit of extra power you got to get some pegs and some peg support brackets to make sure your feet stay secured on the bike and you never have any problems with slipping off or anything like that so there you guys have it those are the most crucial mods in my opinion that you got to get for the suron x if you guys think i left anything out or missed a mod that's more important than what i talked about let me know down in the comments below also let me know what mod you installed first on your suron x whenever you got it or what mod you're planning on installing first on your suron x that's really gonna wrap it up for this one hope you guys enjoyed peace out see you in the next one